Welcome back to the Sports Wrap. In local hoops news, Brown men's basketball shaking off the rust after a long layoff prior to Friday night's league opener. Maury Hirschgordon stopped by the Piz to catch up with the Bears today. It's been nearly two weeks since Brown faced a Division I opponent. The Bears maximizing their time away from the court. Uh, recharge a little bit, get some guys some rest and recovery that need it. The practice has been game speed. We scrimmaged the other day to simulate a game, um, but we're just going hard, trying to be efficient with our time. After wrapping up a strong non-conference slate with a pair of wins, Bruno is now prepared for what's ahead. It's really important how you start the season, but it's even more important how you finish it. So the fact that we won the last couple games and we're going into some good opponents, um, I'm happy that we won the last couple ones and we can watch that film and have more confidence in self knowing that we're a great team. The road to an Ivy League championship for Mike Martin's squad begins on Friday night on the road at league favorite Yale. Martin's going to rely on the experience of his roster to compete with and beat the top teams in the league. Friday is a big step in our goal of trying to win an Ivy League championship. And, uh, you know, but I think they definitely sense a little, little more focus and a little more uh, awareness on, you know, what's coming here in league play. Captain Zach Hunsicker and Tamanning Cho, along with Ivy League Player of the Year candidate Brandon Anderson, creates a trio of offensive threats, allowing the Bears to find plenty of balance on offense. I find the rhythm when I'm playing hard, the team's playing hard, and we just all make the right basketball play. And if that results in me scoring, then that's cool. Or if it results in other guys scoring, that's cool too. But if we just make the right basketball play, then we always have success. And for Anderson, who's been through the grind of an Ivy League season before, the message to the underclassmen is simple. Every game is like a championship, especially when only the top four teams make it to the tournament. So every game is treated like a championship, but you got to take it one game at a time and um, you got to stay focused. With the Bears in Providence, Maury Hirsch Gordon, Eyewitness Sports.